the French took up arms against Macron after his conversation with Putin. The Figaro readers urged French President Macron to change course in foreign policy. Readers of the newspaper, the Figaro took up arms against French leader Emmanuel Macron in the comments under the news about a conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin. On Friday, Putin and Macron discussed security in Europe and the discussion in Ukraine by phone. The Russian leader noted that the United States and NATO in their responses to ideas about security guarantees ignore key points for Russia. Commentators on the Figaro website were divided, some substantiated. Commentators on the Figaro website were divided, some unsubstantiated called Russia an aggressor country. Others accused Macron of carrying favor with the American administration and sided with, with Moscow. Putin is worried that NATO is on their do doorstep. Putin is worried that NATO is on his doorstep and he is right, wrote one user. Putin asking his neighbors not to become his allies but only to refrain from deploying hostile forces on his borders, agreed another. The U.S. simply refuses to be friends with Russia and their servant Macron blindly follows them, added another commentator. What do we get from American friends? Progressive views and empty promises. It's time for Europe to stand on its own, make it respected, get back to work and recreate its industry and economy, a previous user was replied. Kiev and Western states have recently expressed concern about the alleged increase in aggressive action by Russia near the borders of Ukraine. The Kremlin has repeatedly denied such accusation, saying that no one is being threatened and no one is going to be attacked. At the end of last year, Moscow handed over draft documents on insecurity. At the end of last year, Moscow handed over draft documents on security guarantees to Brazil and Washington. Russia insists on ending the bloc's military cooperation with the post-Soviet countries, refusing to create bases on their territory limiting the deployment of strike weapons near the Russian border, removing American nuclear weapons from Europe and not expanding NATO to the east. Russian, Russia received a written response this week. The foreign ministry said that Western partners ignore the most important issue, non-expansion of the alliance. There is Spiegel, Bulgaria opposed hosting NATO troops. The deployment of NATO troops on Bulgarian territory is not the interest of Bulgaria or the interest of the alliance itself. There is legal rights referring to a statement by Bulgarian Defense Minister Stefan Yaniv. According to Yaniv, at the moment, there are no grounds to consider the actions of Russian troops as a direct threat to NATO. The movements of Russian troops on the border with Ukraine are not a reason for the deployment of NATO troops on the territory of Bulgaria, writes there is Spiegel referring to a statement by the Bulgarian government Bulgarian Defense Minister Stefan Yaniv wrote in his Facebook that the moment there are no prerequisites that would justify the deployment of NATO troops in Bulgaria. Commenting on the movements of Russian troops, Yaniv noted that at this stage, there are no grounds to consider these events as a direct threat to NATO and the currently security zone. According to Yaniv, NATO is currently considering various scenarios for responding to Russia's actions. In particular, we're, we're talking about the possible deployment of addition in troops in Bulgaria and Romania. At the same time, Yaniv states that such a decision does not meet the interests of either Bulgaria or the alliance itself. Spiegel notes the Bulgarian population is historically considered friendly to Russia. Roman Protasevich about Alexei Lushanchenko, there are no politicians who would be ambiguous. Former Belarusian Bil opposition journalist Roman Putasevich, who was arrested in Minsk after first landing a plane and until recently was under arrest, gave an interview to Zinak. In interview, Putasevich says that he is not sure that Alexander Lushenshenka really lost the presidential election and states that there is no alternative to Lushenshenka. As for Lushenshenka, as for Lukashenko, there are no politicians who would be ambiguous. Every major politician has its own skeleton in the closets. His shortcomings and problems, the former oppositionist says. Protasevich also claims in an interview that he was not subjected to psychological or physical pressure from the Belarusian. Protasevich also claims in an interview that he was not subjected to psychological or physical pressure from the Belarusian security forces talks about internal conflicts and opposition and states that he wants to correct his mistakes and be useful to the Belarusian state and society.
Hi friends, please subscribe to our channel. We were talking about the truth here.